The following tasks are required to integrate machine learning, ML, into planning. Importing and configuring a fully trained ML model into planning, which generates two groovy rules. Associating one of the generated groovy rules to a form or dashboard, or with the other groovy rule, scheduling a job to generate large-scale predictions. The Configuring ML Model Import video tutorial covers importing and configuring the ML model. The Deploying an ML Model to Planning video tutorial covers attaching the rule to a form and scheduling a job to generate prediction results on a regular basis. Review the overview video for Bring Your Own ML. Then, after reviewing this video tutorial for Configuring ML Model Import, review the Deploying an ML Model to Planning video tutorial. To get machine learning into your planning and forecasting process, follow the steps through the guided wizard. Start by importing the externally trained ML model into EPM. On the Import Model page, you see information about the PMML file. The target column shows the target variable, such as sales revenue or any other financial account, to be predicted using the ML model, and you see the training date. In Model Mapping, select the cube where the ML model will be used and define the scope of data in which to use the ML model by selecting a member or set of members from each dimension. In Model Mapping, map input and output to the appropriate planning dimensions and members in the cube. The input section contains the list of input components used to make predictions. The output section specifies the target, what is to be predicted. Planning analyzes the PMML file to generate the list of inputs and outputs. Input features are independent variables, similar to how business drivers are used as input to your planning process. When you make predictions, the model uses input features to predict your output. In this step, you map the inputs from the ML model to specific elements in the planning cube. Elements could be a member of a dimension, a cell value of an account or measure, or a prompt where the input is captured from the planner. Input maps to the elements and drivers in the planning cube required for the ML model. Output is the target measure or account that you want to predict in the planning cube. In this step, you map product to a member in planning. You map industry volume, price, and promotions to a cell value, each of which is represented by a specific account. In this example, product, price, industry volume, and promotion are used as inputs to predict volume using the ML model in the planning cube. The Analyze Model step represents MLX, Machine Learn Explainability, and extracts additional information about the ML model. For example, review regression coefficients to see how the relative impact of key input features is used to predict the output. The height of the bar represents the incremental effect of a one-unit increase in an input feature on the target variable. In Test Model, test the ML model by generating a prediction for a set of sample values and click Predict. After you save, two groovy rules are generated for each ML model definition. You can review the generated rules in Calculation Manager. You use the form rule by associating it with a form or dashboard to allow users to make predictions on demand. You use the batch rule to generate large-scale predictions in a scheduled job for bulk processing. You can review the groovy rules that are automatically generated based on the input and output. You can modify the rules to include any additional requirements. After configuring the ML model, administrators deploy the ML model so that planners can use it. To deploy the ML model, administrators either set up an action menu to run one of the generated Groovy rules from a form or dashboard, or for the second generated Groovy rule, administrators schedule a job to run on a regular basis. For more information about deploying ML models, see the video tutorial, Deploying ML Models to Planning. To learn more, visit docs.oracle.com.